Welcome and Merry Christmas. Today we have a special feature for you guys. I'm going to be playing as, that's right, Mrs. Claus. And we're going to be playing Krampus at Santa's Village. And I'm going to keep it simple, not use a signature action, not use a ultimate dice. All right, where are we? We are in the village center, and there's milk and cookies at the stable. That's where the killer is. Krampus, ice skates at Santa's workshop. That's over, uh, no, that's Santa's house. Santa's workshop over here, and BB gun over here at Santa's house. All right, so maybe we want that BB gun. It can only modify weak attack. When I damage the killer, I decrease horror so I think I do want to go over to Santa's house let's read the event first Yeti place the Yeti in the exit space of your choice the Yeti will not follow you and that cannot be targeted saved or killed during upkeep panic the Yeti the Yeti will do damage to someone in its space according to the following priority killer minion you victim okay so we want to put this Yeti somewhere near the killer so somewhere on the left side uh let's go bottom left put the yeti the bottom left corner there we go all right uh i want to get over to santa's house so i can get that gun um so i think we're going to discard for time because if i get a sprint one two three i can move possibly up to three spaces uh let's discard for time one two three and four that gives me ten time we'll go to the next phase I'm taking a sprint I'm taking a search and I'm taking maybe I should take a distraction maybe another search and another close call all right uh, that does it for planning phase so we go to the killer phase uh, Krampus attacks in his space. There's no one in his space, so he targets everybody and he moves one space. So we're going to move either up or down, and it looks like it's pretty even across the board. Uh, there's an extra guy here at the bottom and down here, but he can't be targeted. So um, I'll say the worst case scenario is down here. And we get a present. Now, how the present works is you roll a die and you place the present according to the panic spaces. So we get one right here. And I got them all right here. I shuffled them up beforehand. And there's nobody there to uh, open it, so it just stays there. If a victim was there, it would open right away. Um, so now we draw a tarot card. If neither you or any victims are adjacent to Krampus's space, discard and draw the next tarot card. There is, okay. Krampus throws three cobalts. Make a panic roll for each cobalt to determine the target space. So we roll three dice. A four, a two, and a one. So a two's over here, there's no one there. A four's over here, so someone gets it over here, and then nobody over here. So just this guy gets hit. Let's see what happens. The cobalt is damaged to one victim in that space following this priority. So the victim dies. All right, if no one received damage, someone did receive damage, so we don't have to do that part. We increase this, and we are done with the terror card, so we're done with panic, or uh, done with that, that phase. Uh, now we do panic. Uh, we roll two dice because there's two victims in this space. We had a three and a one. A three is gonna go up here. One's gonna go down here. Oh wait, no, he doesn't go down there. Uh, one does not move, actually. Okay, that's panic. Upkeep, uh, I don't think I have anything to do in upkeep. Oh yeah, I do, the Yeti. During upkeep, upkeep panic the Yeti. All right, so panic the Yeti. Got a three. He moves into the killer's space, which is what we wanted. Yeti will do damage to someone in its space according to the following priority. So, killer. Killer takes two damage. Bam, bam. The Yeti is 
taken out of Krampus for us. Okay. Uh, that does it for upkeep. We are back in action. Round two. Let's see. I want to do a sprint. We're going to play sprint first. Hopefully we can get double success. Oh, we can't get double success. Of course we can't. Um, we'll get rid of two cards. I'll get rid of a walk and a close call. That'll move two spaces, lose a time. So there's the time. And we're going to go one. And we're going to go two over here. And there's a special rule when we play Santa's Village. When you enter a space with a victim, in this case they're called elves, you lose time. So I, I lost one and two because uh, uh, there was two victims. One, two. They're talkative, apparently. Uh, so now I want to play Walk. Move a space, lose a time. There's one time. I'm going to walk into Santa's house and bring him with me. So I, when I leave, I don't lose time. Um, and I think I may just want to hold off. Actually, if I search, I'm going to get a top item no matter what. So let's play search, actually. Ah, okay, take top item of your space. I'm going to treat that as a zero success so take top item of your space that'd be the bb gun okay it's going in my hand maybe I, yeah decrease horror by two so that's one two and decrease time by two so now we're at zero that does it for the, i will I, I could be yeah, I'm gonna say that does it for the action phase. Planning phase, we're just gonna take all four of these free ones and we're gonna go straight into the killer phase. Uh, Krampus attacks in his space, so this guy dies since the Yeti can't be targeted, right? And there are no other victims on the board. Remove the Yeti from the board and discard this card. Okay. So this goes up. We go up by two, one, and two that feeds itself. And he targets the closest victim, which is these guys up here. Moves one, and we drop a present. This present goes in spot number two. Where is two? Uh, at the beginning, okay. So, or at the uh, exit space. Got one of these, bam. And we draw a terror card. Cobalt's again. We got Cobalt's twice in a row. He throws three balls. Uh, there's actually nobody next to his space. I mean, the Yeti is technically next to his space, but he can't be targeted. Or killed. Uh, so... We just discard and draw the next tarot card because it says adjacent doesn't say in the same space. Yeah, it has to be adjacent. All right, so we draw the next tarot card. Uh, there are victims in exit spaces, so we keep this. Place Krampus in the space, in the search space with the most victims. So that's me. He targets a victim and he attacks twice. So both of these guys die. We go up by two, one, two. We reveal the dark power. Oh no, never ending gifts. It's the hard one, epic dark power. All present tokens are immediately revealed now and in the future. Santa presents are always discarded. The rest remain on the board. Each time you move into a space with a present, apply its effects. If Krampus present deck is empty, reshuffle. All right, so we got two presents. Let's reveal. We got one Krampus, and we got a Santa. So Santa presents are always discarded, so we discard this. Uh, so if I move on to that space, I got to apply its effects. Okay, so that does it for his tarot card. Right? Um, panic. Nobody to panic. Upkeep. Uh, we gotta roll this Yeti. So we're panicking the Yeti. Got a two. 
going over here to the stables. All right, now it is action phase again. I think now I will do a search um, and then get the hell out of here. Or maybe I should do, I should do a distraction first. Actually, let's do a distraction first. So I can get my, uh, there we go. One star, decrease, increase time. Now I'll do my search. Ooh, take two top items of your space. Ooh, I think I'll take the milk and cookies. Only lose one time when interior space with victims in my hand when you're there. Um, I'll take the milk and cookies. We'll put this at the bottom of this. And... I didn't lose my time. Um, there's my time loss. Now, I think I want to play weak attack because this thing can only... Oh, it could have to be one away, though. And I can't move. He's going to hurt me. Um, I'm going to discard these for time. One, two... Should I keep the other two? Actually, hold on. I'm going to keep the, the short rest and weak attack. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, next phase. I'm going to take retaliate. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to take a furious strike. Why not attack him when he's in my space? I got... Oh, well, that's going to only do... Uh, we can take. All right, so I need free ones. I'll take these ones, and then we're going to the next phase. He targets and attacks in his space, so I'm going to play retaliate. Uh oh. Um. I'm going to discard short rest and walk. Reduce damage by two, so he only does one damage. I do one damage back because this thing can't be used to hurt him. All right. Uh, now we finish his action, so he moves to the closest target, which is me, and he drops a present, so we roll a die. Three. And it's going to be in the same spot I'm at, and it's immediately revealed. I immediately open it and apply its effect. All right, that wasn't very helpful. Okay. Uh, we're still on his action, so draw a terror card. Santa, where are you? We increase horror. We target me. We move towards me. You're already in my spot. And you attack for three damage. I cannot block it. So, one, two, three. If you are not attacked, I was. Uh, so we go to the next phase. Panic, nobody to panic. Upkeep, we roll the Yeti. Uh, three. So the Yeti is going to go this way. And deals damage. So one of these guys dies. Girls dies. And we increase horror. And when we do that, we increase bloodlust again. So he's already at max bloodlust. Not good. And I have two health. Um, we're back at action. Uh, I guess I could do a furious strike followed by a weak attack. Uh, well, I have to walk first, I guess. Um, furious strike, walk, and then weak attack. Uh, that might be risky. Um, hmm. Because that'd be one, two. And this BB gun doesn't even do any damage. Alright, I'm going to try it. Let's just YOLO. Uh, Furious Strike. Oh no, I only had one die. I should not have YOLO'd. Uh, that was not good. Uh, there's no way I can change that. I did not think ahead. So I lose a health. Uh, this goes up, this goes up. You recover a health. Ooh, you just got a health. And we discard one of these. And we end the phase. Um, I'll take a guard. I will take a... I'll take those free ones. I'll take a... Let's see, four...
take another guard. I take a sprint. Or should I do a search? I'll do a search actually. Killer phase targets me and attacks in my space. I need to play guard guard. Oh shoot, I was gonna play milk and cookies and I forgot. Oh no. Damn it. I'm gonna say I I, I used this last time. <laughs> Cause I meant to. Uh one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So he damages me. Uh for two damage. And now he targets me again and he moves in my space and he drops a present. Present says, uh we open right away. We open present well, we would be over right away, but yeah, uh Santa tokens are immediately discarded. We don't get them anymore. Okay. Uh draw a tarot card. Increase horror by two, so we decrease, uh, or we discard two horror cards, or terror cards, and we increase health by two. I think he's at max now, ten. So, one, two. And now, uh, whoa, where did my other one go? Uh, all victims move one space closer to the present nearest them. Well, none of, there's no presence out. If there are no presence on the board, then move Krampus. Move uh, one space closer to Krampus instead. Okay, so one, one. Is the Yeti considered a victim? I think so. One, one, one. This way and this way. Okay, that does that for the terror card. These guys are gone. And we go to panic. Nobody to panic. Upkeep. Oh, uh, we panic the Yeti. We got six. Yeti goes down here. And we are down with upkeep. So we're back at action. And I'm going to search, I think. Let's see if I can find a. Oh, I should have played focus first. Uh, take top item of your space. I think I'll do that. Hmm. Let's, let's yellow it. And this house. Take top item of your space. We got a whistle. Not very good. Uh. Increase horror by two, so he recovers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then he's already full, so we discard two tarot cards. All right, that's all the tarot cards. Uh, we lose one time. No, two time. Uh, let's play walk. See if we can get away. Uh, we, we only have one die again. Damn it! Discard these two. That gives me a success. Actually, we're gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna keep my guard. So move one space, lose a time. And we moved into a space with two elves. So we lose two more time! Uh, I'm not thinking this very good. Through. Um, I guess let's play weak attack now. Yay, I got a hit. Okay, so... Do one damage... Lose a health. So one and one. And this says, uh, when you damage the killer with the BB gun, decrease horror by one. So that's that. And we are done. I don't have any cards, so I'll take the free ones and one of the close calls. And we will go into the killer phase. Killer attacks in space. And then uh, moves towards us. And drops a present. Five. Five's gonna be over here with this runaway guy. Opens it right away. And because Christmas spirit, uh, we apply the effect. There's no card to discard, and he recovers health. And this thing goes aside. And. We. Go to the panic phase, and nobody, uh, there's a couple, excuse me, my dog, um, and we go to upkeep, and we roll for the Yeti, 
got a one. The Yeti is going to move up. And then we go to the next phase, action phase. Um, we don't have anything really to do. Uh, let's play. Let's see if I can get hmm, let's say the critical low. One, two, three. That's nine times. Go to the next phase. Um, I will buy critical blow and a another guard. Take the close call and the four free ones. And we go to his phase. He attacks in his space. Oh wait, hold on. Actually, this was supposed to be revealed last time. So, place Krampus in the further, furthest target space. Okay, so that would be probably these two, because they're two away. And he attacks twice. Okay. Uh, that does it. Nobody panic. Uh, we have the Yeti to upkeep again. Got a five. Yeti's gonna move over here. And these guys, one of them dies. Um, back of action. Um, I guess I could just save up for attacks. Um, wait for him to come to me. One, two, three. Four, five. So that's what, 11 time. Next phase. I'll take the retaliate. I'll take a planning. I'll take an improvise. Uh, killer phase. Moves with the farthest target. So these two now. And attacks twice. They're gone. And we don't have a terror card, so we'll be, well, he recovers health, he's already maxed. Nobody to panic. Uh, the Yeti moves again. Four. And that would be up here, and there's no one up there. Action phase. Uh, what do I want to do? can't move so I guess I will just hold off to what I got I will take a fury strike one two three four I will take a sprint a one two and now I'm gonna do one two three four five six seven eight um I take two so I'll take a weak attack and a short rest killer phase spawns to the farthest target and this one dies and that's it. Nobody panic. Upkeep. The Yeti moves again. Six. Who's in my spot and kills me first. Does damage to me first. One, two. Uh oh, that was not good. Um. Next phase. Play action. Um. I guess I will do a, well he's going to come to me next, I could wait one more turn, get that next improvise, um, cause my hand's full, one, two, and go to the next phase, ooh wait, can this, ooh actually hold on, I'm going to blow the whistle. Spend time. Move all enemies and victims one space towards you. So that's one time. Everyone moves one space towards me. Okay, now I can hit them good. Um, plan, improvise. Plan. Yep. Oh, no. Get rid of short rest and weak attack. 
so now we got two dice for the next roll, and we lose a time. I'm going to play the improvise. All right, we need to get rid of a sprint and a guard. That gives us double success. So now all threes and fours are successes until the end of the phase. So we'll play critical blow. There we go, all success. That means three damage. One, two, three. And we go down horror. And I'm going to play Furious Strike. Oh no, we got nothing. Lose health. And I'm dead. Mrs. Claus has succumbed to her injuries uh, against Krumpus. Maybe we'll get him next time. Maybe. Merry Christmas. Uh, see you guys next time.